Good day class. Welcome to the second session. In this session, we will explain the role of various functional strategies in business performance. Let us start by briefly looking at the elements of a strategic plan. The first element is the vision, which is the dream for the enterprise by top management that will be achieved in the long term. The second element is the mission statement, which is a short summary of why the company exists and is made up of core components, which include the target market, main product or service, geographic domain, the company's philosophy, the company's self-image, and the company's public image, survival, growth, and profitability. The third element is analysis which requires you to conduct an analysis on the external and internal environments. The external environment looks at opportunities and threats, whereas the internal environment looks at strengths and weaknesses. It is referred to as the SWOT analysis. The business is established in the environment, meaning that in order for it to exist, it depends on its environment. So the resources, perspectives, opportunities, and threats are influenced and determined by the environment. And due to this, the business needs to monitor changes in the external environment so that adjustments can be made to the strategy to suit the new circumstances. The fourth element is the formulation of goals and long-term objectives. Once you have scanned the environment, then you need to formulate a corporate or strategic objective that is in line with the desired results and the entrepreneur's mission statement. The implementation of tactical, functional, and operational objectives, which are medium and short-term objectives, also takes part in this phase. Long-term goals and objectives could include increasing sales and increasing market share. The fifth element is the gap analysis. There could be a gap between the calculated annual forecast and the corporate strategic objectives of the enterprise. So in order to close the gap, you will need to identify the suitable generic and corporate strategies that you need to put into action. You need to bear in mind that the gap could be anywhere in the business, from employee training to sales growth. The sixth element is where you identify the strategies. Generic and corporate strategies need to be formulated in order to close the planning gap and reach the enterprise's corporate strategic objectives. When you are evaluating and choosing a strategy for your organization, you need to pay attention to the consistency, solidarity, advantage, and feasibility. A common evaluation technique is the Boston Matrix which is the model that helps business analyze their portfolio and helps by making it balance. There are behavioral considerations that influence choosing a strategy that you should bear in mind, and they include roles of the current strategy, the enterprise's level of external dependence, attitudes toward risk, internal political considerations, timing, and competitive reaction. The phase that follows is the implementation of strategies. The culture of enterprise is a collection of separate and collective assumptions like beliefs, values, rituals, legends, myths, and expectations are found among the members of the enterprise. It is important to identify the culture of the enterprise, develop a strategy of a supportive culture and manage the strategy of culture relationship. Structure is the division of tasks between group and individuals and the coordination of tasks between the different sections of the enterprise in order to increase effectiveness of the enterprise. It is crucial that the structure works well with the strategy. Leadership involves strategic leadership coming from the CEO and the management skills to manage difficulties. Policies give direction to the strategy and the achievement of objectives such as human resources and financial policy. The last element is strategic and operational control. Strategic control involves following up on the strategy as it is being implemented by identifying problems or 
changes in carrying out the necessary adjustments. Strategic control follows the proactive and futuristic approach and may vary in nature and could take form of assumption control, implementation control, strategic control, or special warning control. Operational control systems are used for allocating and using the company's resources. The systems directly monitor and evaluate the daily activities of the company that are needed for implementing the strategies and achieving the objectives for the year. Strategic planning is very important for a number of reasons, such as giving direction to the whole enterprise, making management aware of changes, serving as a rational basis for managing resource allocation, and lastly, identifying opportunities and possible threats in advance. There's a lot more detail in your learner guide, so I suggest that you look into them before moving on to the third session. We have come to the end of the second session. Let us take a break and move on with the next session.